Steven and fellow explorers, welcome back to another video. I am still here at Oak Hill Memorial Park here in San Jose, California. Still covering this spacious, massive area. And just a lot of interesting areas and spots. I'm gonna go uh, take a peek at a few. Yeah, we're gonna hoof this part of the cemetery real quick, going uphill, walking uphill on this warm, warm day. I don't know if you can see off in the distance, there's a big old cross at the top of this hill. Looks like it's up a dirt road and it's all fenced off anyway. I don't think it's a grave area. I think it's just a cross on the top of the hill there. There is a shot of that massive mausoleum I showed you in the last video. And it's closed, unfortunately, due to what's going on in the world. Um, God, I would have loved to have gone inside. As I stated before, uh, it's the final resting place of Paul Masson, of the Paul Masson Vineyards. Look at this area. This, this place is just awesome. Got a bunch of interesting graves up here. This guy must have liked chips. Looks like the family and friends have placed chips on his grave and snacks, other snacks. Beef jerky, planters peanuts, Fanta. Wow, that's nice. There's an empty area right here. Huh, another area, it's got a marker, it's got a stone, but there are, none of the stones have any inscriptions on them, which means must be reserved or for sale. This thing, this area here is like three levels out here. It's insane. This grave is very interesting. They've got a wooden cross on it. But the interesting part about this is somebody put a coffee here on the grave, must be family. I don't know if they door dashed it to here or they door dashed it to their home and brought it here. But yeah, somebody put a coffee on the grave. And there's, I guess, some of their sunglasses too. Look at this interesting area. They've got music or something playing. Wow. Buddha chanting set. Do not remove or open. There's all the offers. People brought. Yeah, 
This is awesome. And it looks like if there's people have left behind plates and whatnot. I think for the uh, the food offerings. Very interesting. Once again, another area for cremated remains. Must be fairly new. There's not a whole lot of people here. Let's go in and check it out. These are very, very interesting. This is badass. I like this. Another food offering. I wonder if there's somebody in here. They just don't have the nameplate yet on it. This gentleman right here must have been fond of chicken nuggets. This is truly, truly awesome. Very peaceful in here too. As you guys can see in here, this is no joke. This place is super spaced out. Sorry about the dirty windshield, but uh... This one little elevated section of the outside mausoleum is a special place. I was looking for this one particular grave, and I will let you know what it is once I find it. This is the final resting place of Sylvia Brown. She was a psychic, a spiritual medium, author, and she appeared regularly on television and radio and hosted an hour-long internet radio show on Hay House Radio. I'm sure you guys have seen her on TV before. She was a famous psychic. Always on TV, always on different talk shows and whatnot over the years. Well, she's buried here in San Jose. When she was alive, she predicted she would die at age 88. But she died in 2013 at age 77. It's up on the outside mausoleum area in a nice little row overlooking a nice beautiful area. Go down here a little bit and overlook all this. Let's take a quick look around this area. It is truly beautiful. Nice fountain in the middle. And here's an area for cremated remains. Oh, a beautiful area here that looks like it might be vacant. This place is a little bit of uh, a mixture of new and old. Up here, up on the top of the hill, it's a lot of new. As you can see, there's a lot of blank uh, crypts and whatnot here with no names on them or anything. A lot of area that's available. Still, so this must be the newer area up in the hill here. Look at that.
like in this right here, a little bench. And it looks like a little butterfly. Oh, here's an area dedicated to the veterans of the Civil War. The Union veterans of the Civil War. 1861 to 1865. Wow. We got a lot of Civil War veterans up in here. Crazy. These stones look like they're sinking, which I think they did a little bit. If anybody knows why else this would happen, let me know. I think the ground got soft and some of them sank. A lot of these are hard uh, to read, but this one's in good shape, this stone. William Hansen. And we got another area here, Spanish-American War. Okay. As you could tell, this is the older part of the cemetery down on flat ground here. This is interesting. This looks awesome. It's a hook on a chain. Alrighty. Albert Schellenberg Memorial dedicated September 8th, 1974, a memory of Wheaton Camp Number 8, San Jose, and to all who have served in the Spanish-American War. Chartered April 18th, 1904. Disbanded March 17th, 1971. Surviving member George P. Peterson, last commander. Rest in peace. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. Wow, this place is monstrous. Um, I think it's gonna have to be a, a third video um out of this um there's on this flatland here where i'm at now it's uh they've got a bunch of unique looking crypts and mausoleums and stuff down here on the flat ground so i'm going to explore those next thank you all so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon therefore you'll be notified when i upload anything or when i do go live thank you all so much fellow explorers for watching and i will talk to you soon